then came wd gan now this man gan was a mathematician and he used mathematics he used numerology he used astrology he used astronomy he used physics he used vibration theory and tried to frame formulate one uh, methodology you must have seen square of 9 and all i started working on that for more than 2 3 3 years i was trying to talk to these gan masters and all these people who who indicated that they knew gan better than gan and i realized that it's not working the way i realized that these two guys these two persons were using fibonacci ratios fibonacci numbers i also knew that fibonacci was a person again a mathematician in 1202 he wrote one book that was a time when rabbits used to create problems for the farmers the population of rabbits was increasing exponentially so as a mathematician he created one formula mathematical solution and published it for identifying as to how these rabbits are growing in number somebody thought that this is the law of the universe and people started talking about flowers and pyramids and structures which are built as per the fibonacci numbers if you minutely observe them you will find that everything has to be there because it's the, the ratios come so close that approximately you are reaching the same place every now and then eliot and gan used that also i rejected them it's not worth looking at and in this fashion many of the techniques which are recognized by people at this moment let me tell you that a few years ago i was in london school of economics and i was interacting with the researcher in the london school of economics is a place where best of the researchers from all over the world come and ex students of uh, london school of economics are working as the as the finance uh, consultants of the countries forget about institutions but all of them all of them the researchers at london school of economics they were rejecting technical analysis they are saying that no no it's not it's like astrology it doesn't have any basis it has happened because such techniques which don't have any basis are being propagated as the techniques of technical analysis they are not they are all superficial techniques right the depth is somewhere else simple thing is let us look at some of the charts now i'm i'm on chart number 1 that is there in your in in front of you where i'm I, i'm showing the kind of people who, who came in my life and i tried to evaluate there and second second slide if you see it's a contribution like candlestick charts dow theory is there chart patterns are there Eliot wave theory is there, Gan is there. Everything is there in front of you. These are the things which I have seen closely in my life. I have spent sufficient time to understand them, analyze them, and evaluate them. What actually happened is, I realized that people are committing mistake, and the biggest mistake is that market is a non-linear system. Now, what is meant by non-linear system? a system where input and output correlation cannot be established is a non linear system linear system is a system where input and output co co correlation can be easily established it's like your life take the example of your life if you are say 5 years old and five criteria you decide at 5 years these five criteria were like this 1 2 3 4 5 at 10 years the same five criteria you were like this 1 2 3 4 5 15 years you were like this 20 years you were like this can you project 
how you would be at 25 years of age? Yes or no? No, because life is not a linear system. It's a non-linear system, just like markets. And all these people thereafter, the engineers, the math mathematicians, the statisticians, they tried to provide some solutions to the market based on mathematical models and statistical models and geometric models and quant finance models nowadays. There is no doubt that these subjects are great. There is great depth in the subjects and their development. But then using maths to understand market is wrong. Simply because market is under no obligation to abide by the rules of maths, stats, geometry or any quant finance techniques. It cannot work like that. I realized it and one by one I kept on rejecting the techniques after 2008. I was just trying to, we started with research gap. One by one I rejected all these techniques. It was like a learning curve reached the saturation level. And then I started coming down one by one. The last thing that I evaluated was the ALGO system. High frequency trading. The whole world is talking about ALGO system and high frequency trading. People feel that automatically your system will work. You just feed some amount to the uh, broker and automatically your trades will be executed and end of the day you will get some money. You know, I, I, I can recollect that the same was the position in 90s, late 90s, when computer programs were introduced, technical analysis programs came. Moving averages look like crossover of moving averages and the game is up. So everybody felt that this is the way we are going to make huge amount of money. Later on, people realized that it doesn't work that way. There was a craze of technical analysis software in 90s. And people thought that this is the way. Prior to that, people used to work only on fundamental analysis. Because they had no other option. Even when I started working on technical analysis, people said that it doesn't work that way. Because they had not seen it. Now people don't question technical analysis. But the institutions, the research centers, they are not happy because they are evaluating technical analysis and charting by using mathematics and statistics and quant techniques, which I am saying is wrong. 